Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid on these, so they may resonate the day you watch it, the next day, or soon thereafter, right? So what do we have for an upcoming message? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Page of Cups and the High Priestess. High Priestess is a healer. She's somebody that is very spiritual. Um, usually the High Priestess is single. She's uh, not always. She's very independent, uh, receptive, reflective, uh, in tune with the universe. So this is somebody that is in tune with the universe. The Page of Cups is an offer of love. Somebody, This guy looks like he's filling up the cup, getting ready to make an offer. Hmm. So we do have a welcome offer of love. Somebody probably seen it coming, right? The High Priestess is very intuitive. There is an offer of love coming. There is. This person is ready, looking for love, maybe love struck. We have an admirer. We do. We have an admirer here. This high priestess has an admirer. This high priestess could be admiring somebody as well. Feelings could be mutual. They came out together. So probably there is. There probably is some mutual feelings here. But anyhow, um... Is this somebody is getting is making an offer? Look at that. And getting ready to uh, express themselves, express their emotions, express their feelings. This is really happy news. Uh, the high priestess knows knows it's been coming. So this is we, uh, the high priestess is typically independent. So if you're if you're an independent person. Here it comes. For some of you, this could be a birth. Okay, news of a birth. News of a pregnancy. Okay. Maybe you sensed it. Now, both of these cards are psychic energies, so somebody may be dealing with a psychic, somebody that is very intuitive. This is high intuition here. These people can probably feel each other's energy. We'll use that for the thumbnail. So yeah, there's a welcome message, a welcome, uh, happy news is coming, really happy news, okay? You know it was coming, you do know it's coming, it definitely is. If you think it is, it is. The High Priestess is very self-sufficient. Eight of Pentacles, not Eight of Pentacles, putting in effort, doing whatever it takes. We have a hard worker here, somebody that works really hard. Now they may, it's interesting because this is a high priestess and this is making money. Working really, really hard. So we definitely have somebody that is working hard. Hmm. The world, the world is a major new beginning, a phase has completed some, this is a successful completion of a chapter, a journey. We could have somebody that is, you know, this could be some sort of public recognition here. Everything comes full circle. Something is coming back around by the looks of things. 
One phase has ended and a new phase is beginning. Something that started around a full moon may, something about the new moon. So it may, something may happen, a new, something may happen, this offer of love, maybe, maybe a relate, something is going to happen around the new moon. Somebody is going to step their, step up their game or they're going to make an emotional offer or something around the new moon. And when is the new moon? The new moon is the 22nd, April 22nd. So something is going to happen around that new moon. Somebody is, is going to, they met, they're, right now they're in the thinking process. They're in this process right here. And they're thinking about expressing themselves. They're thinking about, um, and we got the moon phases up here too. Interesting. Definitely uh, there's something that is changing in between the full moon and the new moon. You have this person that is thinking about giving their heart away while this other person is working, 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 working. You notice there's two people here. There's definitely two people here. So this guy is thinking about his next move. This one's working, 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 working. So it looks like this high, high priestess is working. This person is thinking about their next move. They're thinking about, you know, a relationship or they're thinking about offering their heart or making an emotional gesture or something like that something has has started around the full moon and by the new moon that i feel like this person is going to uh send that message or whatever or make that offer whatever it is the world is a um completing one cycle and beginning a new one so we have a new cycle that is definitely beginning Three, you get prepared seriously get prepared get prepared for an arrival or get prepared to hear a message that makes you feel really 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 happy this is very much good news you've been waiting for this you've been waiting but you know it may not be what you think it is and that's the thing is i feel like it may not be what you think it is but this is this is you've come a long way this is what you've been waiting for Ooh, the devil reversed. This is taking back control of a situation. Things have gotten out of hand. Things have gotten... Look at all these people. Look at them all. I don't know if they're having a orgy or what. Um, so... Hmm. The devil, the devil reverse. Things may have gotten worse. We have, we have somebody here that, I mean, the high priestess sometimes chooses to be independent. She chooses to be independent. She's very self-sufficient. She doesn't need anybody. She's working, 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 working. Now somebody has arrived. And that's the truth. Somebody has arrived. There's probably a lot of, uh, Attraction to whatever this is. Um, the devil reverses freedom. Freedom from an unhealthy situation. It's breaking free. Taking back control. Judgment, judgment, reverse. This is poor. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They have made a poor judgment call, and uh, they may be feeling guilty. This is this is a very sexual energy here. So I'm wondering if somebody got themselves entangled with the wrong person. They made a poor judgment call. Maybe they're feeling guilty because this is guilty. Somebody may be feeling guilty for 
getting involved with the wrong person, you know, in a sexual manner or something like that. This is a this is greed. This is lust. This is obsession. We have somebody here that um, was trying that their ego get in the way of, you know, making the right judgment call, doing the right thing. Now they're about to be held accountable because judgment is a card of karma. And it's reversed. So somebody's going to be held accountable for... I mean, this is sins, okay? I'm not no religious leader or anything, but it really is. Okay? Somebody's going to be held accountable for their sins. And I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a religious person. Um, but this is being held accountable. Are you ready to be judged? Somebody is going to be judged. They are going to be judged. I know I'm changing stories. I'm changing uh, the uh, direction of this reading. But this is, are you ready to be judged? Somebody is is going to be held accountable. They're going to be held accountable for something. Okay, what are they going to be held accountable for? We have this person that is thinking, thinking, thinking. Get prepared for some karma. Somebody better get prepared because karma is coming. Now things are getting worse. Somebody may be, things may be getting worse. Uh, worse, 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 worse. We may have an intuitive, a psychic, or a medium that knows, that knows things are getting worse. There's a lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Hmm. This is not waking. Okay, a lack of awakening. Refusing to wake up, not waking up. This could be an addiction. This is addiction. So just be careful. Be careful with what you do. Be careful what with what you do. I mean, this is I know this is this is part isn't going to be for everybody because bits and pieces will resonate with you and bits and pieces will not. But this could be an addiction gone bad. Okay, it could be an addiction gone bad where you know somebody doesn't wake up. So I just got to be honest with you. Be careful. Be careful with um, what you do. Be careful with, with, with what you do. And that's just a message that you need to hear. Um, this is definitely karma and it's not in a good way. It's not a good way. Somebody has made a poor judgment call based on greed, based on ego, based on lust, based on all the wrong reasons. That is the meaning of this card. They have. We have this intuitive that knows, that has sensed it, that has told the story. They've told the story. This intuitive has, is basically waiting. She's waiting for something to happen. She's waiting for the news. Because there's some sort of news, definitely news. And perhaps it's, it's this, is, this is a lesson. Okay, the world is a lesson. Perhaps she's waiting for the news that somebody has learned their lesson. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes people have to learn the hard way. Get prepared to hear some news. About this egotistical whoever it is receiving some karma. Okay. This is somebody who. Um, definitely doesn't make the right choices. Engages in toxic unhealthy behavior. So this person that engages in unhealthy behavior is going to receive some sort of... They're going to be held accountable for their actions. Okay? They may be found guilty. They didn't answer the higher call. They may... I mean, now they're going to be subject... You know, put to trial. I mean, subject to trial. Hmm. Five of Cups reversed... Five of Cups reversed is accepting, prolonged grief, accepting, seeing that there's another opportunity. Somebody was trying to fill a void. They made a poor judgment call. Somebody was trying to fill a void and they made a poor judgment call. And they probably want another chance. They probably want a reconciliation. This is somebody that wants to, because this is like wanting a reconciliation. This is, this is focusing on a loss, but filling the void. 
somebody was filling a void with toxic behavior, doing things, you know, for instant gratification. They made a poor judgment call. Like now they want to come back. They want forgiveness. And there's a lack of forgiveness. When we had this reading the other day, oh, we got the Empress on the bottom. The Empress is, she knows her value. She's very abundant, as you can see. She is definitely very abundant. She's not lacking for nothing. She's not. She can grow anything. She has multiple admirers. Plenty. She has plenty. See, she does. She is absolute. She's not lacking for nothing. Nothing. So, anyway, we have an empress here who's sitting pretty. She is definitely sitting pretty. She has multiple admirers. Um, she's just waiting. She is. She's just waiting for her delivery. She's just waiting for her reward. She's wise enough to know better. She is wise enough to know better. Anyhow, um, this Five of Cups. Somebody wants to come back. Five of Cups reversed. They made some really poor choices. We have somebody here that made some really poor, 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 poor choices. We have a highly intuitive individual that knows that this person made a poor choice. Knows that karma is coming. Absolutely. Get prepared to hear the news. Okay? Get prepared to hear the news. Now, somebody may have learned a karmic lesson because this is a lesson and they have evolved. This is about, you look at the moon phases here. This is evolving. Somebody has evolved. They have evolved. They have learned a lesson. They have learned a lesson and now they are prepared. And they're probably hoping for the best. They're hoping and praying for the best. Right now, they're in thinking mode. They're thinking, how am I going to handle this? How am I going to show my feelings? How am I going to express myself? So we have somebody here that is really thinking. I mean, she knows her value and she is not going to settle. The Empress is the queen of all queens. She doesn't chase. She, You come and get me. I am not coming to get you. I know my value. I got multiple options. Multiple. So we have an empress here who has plenty. She's very caring. She's very nurturing. She will take care of you. She will give you her all. But you, she's not going to do all the work she wants. She's looking for an emperor, her emperor, right? That's her perfect match. Her emperor is dominant. Her emperor takes the lead. All right? She ain't looking for a playboy. She ain't looking for a, another dependent. Oh, maybe she is. She is the empress. But she's, if she's going to have that dependent, she's going to deliver it, okay? She's looking for a masculine. She's looking for somebody who's going to fight for her. Not somebody that's going to make her beg. She's wise. She's learned from experience. The Empress is typically an older woman who has life experience behind her back. And she has suffered. Because in order to get the reward, you have to go through pain. So she's been through some sort of pain. And that pain changes her instantly. She's very sexual. She's very sensual and she's very beautiful and she demonstrates love, but she also knows her value. She knows her value. She is not going to chase. She's waiting as you can see. She's the goddess of love. She has a lot to offer and she knows it. Anyhow, I feel like we have this, this Five of Cups reverse. Somebody wants to come back. They made a poor judgment call. They want to come back. They made a poor judgment call. They got themselves involved with something that was unhealthy because of greed. Because they needed to fill a void for instant gratification. Okay? Get prepared to hear some news about some karma that has been delivered or something like that. This person is definitely going to be held accountable for their actions. Perhaps karma is causing the person that they, whatever with, to leave. Okay, because somebody's leaving with the Five of Cups. This is breaking free, freedom, severing ties. 
So somebody is probably severing ties. They're severing ties with an unhealthy situation in hopes that, you know, they can go back or something like that. This is realizing, or they're realize somebody may be realizing that there's a better choice. Now, this is this is moving on from a bad choice, the judgment reversed. Somebody has definitely made a bad judgment call, engaged himself in something that was unhealthy, that was based on sex and sex only. And now they realize that there's a better opportunity for love, so they're breaking free from it. So that could that could be another story. This is this is freedom from a loveless situation, period. And, but this is no forgiveness. Judgment reverse is lack of forgiveness. I, no forgiveness. Bad behavior. But somebody's going to put in effort. They are really going to. They're about ready. They've been thinking about it and they're going to do it. King of Cups reversed. Who? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't have to be. We also have Capricorn here. We have Scorpio here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio up there. We have everybody, okay? We could say this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, with the King of Cups reverse is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Okay? This person is emotionally unavailable. They're very secretive. They don't know how to communicate. They're afraid to give their heart away. Withdrawn. May see himself as a victim. Non-communicative, uh, secretive, closed off, this guy is. But we have an emperor on the bottom. It's funny because a minute ago we had the empress on the bottom. Now we have an emperor that is going to take charge. He's going to step up to the plate. So this emperor, he is the boss. He is a masculine he takes action. He shows no weakness. He's ready to fight. He is battle ready. And he's about to go out. I think he's about to go after his queen or he's going to step it up a notch or he's going to do something. He, this could even be a proposal. Somebody may be getting a proposed proposal with that page of cups up there. We have an emperor. I don't know if it's an Aries. It doesn't have to be. Could be anybody. This is a masculine. This is a very masculine energy. And he's looking for his queen. He's looking for a true queen. He's not looking for this whore. He's not looking for this unhealthy situation. Okay? He's not. So we have an emperor that is about to step up to the plate. He's about to take the lead. Okay? He is. He's about to take control of a situation. Okay, he is. He's he's thought about it, he's made a plan, and he's going to take action. So we do have an emperor here that is about to fight for something. King of Swords. <coughs> King of Swords. This is he. He's been done in his investigation. He knows what he wants, and he's gonna do it. This is somebody who is very intellectual and very decisive. He knows what he wants. He's thought about it, and he's gonna do it. So we definitely have a masculine that is about to take action. He is going to take action. One man's loss is another man's treasure as well, or. This man has been unable to communicate because he could not master his emotions. He could not. He could not uh, open his heart. But I feel like he's he's thought about it so much and it's, it's plagued him. You know, this has been his own plague. Okay. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think that he's ready. He's, he's filling his cup. He's getting ready to express his feelings. And uh, the thinking is over. Okay, I think we had this, these two readings yesterday. Um, I think we have two people that can feel each other. They think about each other all the time. Um, one person has evolved. They went from uh, closed off and emotionally unavailable to uh, being ready and knowing what they want and about ready to make that next move. So this is just a, you know... 
add-on to the stories I had yesterday. Somebody is wanting a chance. Can you give me another chance? We may not have started off on the right foot, but I'd like another chance. This is a power couple, too, by the way. The Emperor and the Empress are a power couple. They are unstoppable. They're both, they both probably are business owners or they both have their own, they have really good jobs. Whatever they do, they're both very abundant. They're both the boss. And maybe that's why they clash. So anyway, get prepared for some good news. A message, a positive good message to, you know, because this is get prepared and this is good news. It's happy news. Somebody has evolved. They have evolved. They're letting go of something that was toxic. That they were focused on for quite some time. They made a poor judgment call. And it feels as though, you know, you've been waiting, 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 waiting for this to happen. And it is going to happen. Perhaps a, a healer or a psychic or a tarot reader or somebody that is very spiritual has told you that this is coming. Or it's your intuition, your own intuition, your own gift. Okay, this is a very gifted person up here, the high priestess. Maybe something has told you that uh, somebody is going to come around with it. And you're probably correct. So get prepared to hear a message. This is definitely happy news. This news is in regards to, to a major completion. Something is ending because that is the ending. Something is ending, which endings lead to new beginnings. This ending leads to a new beginning. Good luck.